Taylor Swift may have enough money to afford her own team of personal chefs, but she's still partial to McFlurries, chicken fingers, and burritos. And if you thought those items were suspiciously normal, wait until you see what else the superstar eats. Taylor Swift leads a super busy life. No one would blame her if she rolled out of bed and poured herself a bowl of Cheerios or unwrapped a Pop-Tart first thing in the morning. Despite her hectic life, Swift is all about sit-down breakfasts. She told Bon Appetit, I love making buckwheat crepes with ham, parmesan cheese, and a fried egg on top. It's my go-to breakfast. But what good is a beautiful breakfast without some freshly squeezed fruit juice, right? Swift also said she always has some orange juice on hand as she drinks it every morning with breakfast. While Swift's breakfast of eggs, cheese, and meat may not blow you away as the healthiest meal ever, she does strive to stick to a wholesome diet throughout the typical work week. While healthy eating can mean different things to different people, Swift told WebMD that, for her, it involves adding salads, yogurt, and sandwiches to her diet throughout the week. Swift admitted that while she does try to keep her meals fairly light, she doesn't believe in following a very strict diet. The singer explained, I don't like to create too many rules where I don't need them. We know what's good for us, thanks to common sense. Of course, knowing what's good for us and sticking to what's good for us are two vastly different things. Regardless, Swift seems to have been able to successfully strike the balance. And you don't need us to tell you that it's working. Swift may try to keep her weekday meals light, but as far as the weekends are concerned, anything goes. When asked about her weekend habits, Swift told WebMD, I allow myself to eat what I know from common sense is bad for me. Instead of the salads, yogurts, and sandwiches she eats during the week, Swift is more likely to order a hamburger with french fries. Junk food of choice, cheeseburger, fries, and a chocolate shake. The star also admitted that she's a huge fan of ice cream, so that will often be on the menu for Saturday or Sunday. While it may sound a little counterintuitive from a health perspective to eat well from Monday to Friday and then eat junk food on the weekends, the nutrition director of Duke University's Diet and Fitness Center, Elisabetta Politi, said it's actually a good thing. She told WebMD, Food is not the enemy, and Taylor is really to be commended for enjoying what she eats. We should all be eating in a mindful way and enjoying every moment that we do. Swift may enjoy having a burger and fries on the weekends, but that doesn't mean she's cooking them herself or hitting up high-end burger joints. Note, the star told World Magazine that Wendy's and McDonald's are among her favorite fast food restaurants. She went on to add, I love ice cream, so I'll either get a Frosty from Wendy's and dip my fries in it, or a McFlurry from McDonald's. Or I like to just stop by and get one of their cones. And I love fries. Swift's love of Mickey D's fries is the real deal. After singer Katy Perry and Swift made amends following a years-long feud, the duo donned a fast-food-themed couple's costume for Swift's You Need to Calm Down music video. While Perry wore a cheeseburger getup, Swift rocked an order of fries. What greasy, cheesy perfection! Love it or hate it, the number of people that flock to Starbucks for their first pumpkin spice latte or PSL of the season only seems to keep growing. If you're a lover of all things pumpkin spice, who knows, you may just run into Swift in line one day. That's right, Taylor Swift is a fan of the beverage and the coffeehouse chain in general. In fact, she gets a Starbucks latte each and every day. Since she tries to eat lighter throughout the week, she orders a skinny vanilla latte during the traditional work week. On the weekends, full fat lattes are in order, and if they're in season, she'll pick up a PSL. She told WebMD, The point is, I'm never cutting out what I love, which is Starbucks. Taylor Swift is all about caffeinated beverages, but she also makes sure to consume a lot of water. When Bon Appetit asked the star what kinds of food she brings with her on the road, Swift replied, I have so much water in my dressing room because I drink like 10 bottles of water a day. If Swift is talking about 10 standard 16.9 ounce bottles, that means she's guzzling 169 ounces of water per day. While it does sound like a lot, it's not a bad thing to consume that much water in a day. With one important caveat, according to Medical News Today, the average person's kidneys can handle up to 7 gallons daily, but no more than 1 liter per hour. Swift is also an amazing baker. In a since-removed Instagram photo, the singer shared her amazing chai sugar cookies. Adapted from a joythebaker.com recipe, Swift brought the cookies to a whole new level by adding her homemade cinnamon eggnog icing. Cookies are not the only baked good the star makes, though. She also likes to make apple pie, sheet cake, and cupcakes. Swift even made an adorable pink cake for her buddy Selena Gomez, complete with white icing handwriting that read, Gomez or go home, and featured the number 26. Decades ago, there weren't a lot of people snacking on hummus outside of the Middle East. Since then, though, the USA Dry Pea and Lentil Council estimates that 25% of American homes now keep their refrigerators stocked with the chickpea concoction. And as it turns out, Taylor Swift is one of those people. As part of Vogue's 73 questions answered by her favorite celeb series, Swift was asked what she needed to have in her fridge at any given time. Hummus, weirdly.
Considering Taylor Swift is one of the world's highest paid entertainers, we're going to assume she could probably afford an in-home chef. That may sound like a dream to many, but Swift actually enjoys cooking. She admitted to World Magazine, I love making an entire meal, starting from making iced tea in a pitcher and then making tomato mozzarella pesto paninis. I love cooking, and I love all the things you can incorporate into it and put your own spin on it. Swift told the publication she likes to experiment with a variety of spices in the kitchen. According to the star, she makes a mean barbecue chicken, as well as a number of pasta dishes. Swift then added, I make shrimp scampi or like this great chicken with capers. It's really excellent. If I can go out on a limb and say that about my own cooking. If you didn't have to factor in your health, is there one food you would sit down to eat each and every day? Taylor Swift has one. During her interview with Vogue, Swift was asked what her favorite food was. The star didn't skip a beat and responded, I mean, if we're just saying like what I wish I could eat every day if calories didn't count is like chicken tenders. Chicken tenders, or chicken fingers as they are often called, have been frequently found on kids' menus for decades. But should they really be classed as children's food? A viral ex post read, we, as a society, need to stop classifying chicken fingers as a kid's menu food. It's time. We, and probably Taylor Swift, agree. In Swift's 2020 documentary, Miss Americana, the singer can be heard asking her producer, Joel Little, if he eats burritos. Little responds that of course he eats burritos, because duh, right? Swift snaps back that some people don't, and that's when the truth starts coming out. Um, I didn't ever eat burritos until, like, two years ago. <laughs> I had never tried, I just had never tried one. The fact that Swift didn't try a burrito until she was well into her 20s prompted her producer to label it the weirdest niche thing. That has all changed, though. In her documentary, Taylor Swift is not only seen wolfing down a burrito, but also adding some chips to it. She even explains why. A crunch. Swift has been expanding her alcohol horizons as of late. While a vodka Diet Coke was once her go-to, she has since displayed a special appreciation for the French Blonde cocktail. Swift's love for the French Blonde first began after she visited acclaimed Kansas restaurant Rye with best pal Brittany Mahomes in December 2023. So what is a French Blonde anyway? The cocktail comprises gin, lilay, Saint Germain liqueur, and grapefruit juice, so you can expect both citrusy and floral undertones. When the ingredients are mixed together, they settle into a pretty shade of pink. Even though Swift enjoys a drink here and there while celebrating with friends, you won't catch her hosting booze-soaked after-parties on tour. According to her Person of the Year profile in Time, she abstains from alcohol entirely while on the road. She told the outlet, "...doing that show with The Hangover? I don't want to know that world." According to Time, she prepared for her elaborate Eras tour with six months of strength and weight training, plus three months of dance training with her choreographer. That's definitely not a routine for the faint of heart. Mustard roasted fish isn't the only Ina Garten meal Taylor Swift can whip up in the kitchen. Turns out she's a major fan of the celebrity chef, not to mention a proud owner of Garten's Barefoot Contessa cookbook. When Garten was named one of Time's 100 Most Influential People in 2015, Swift absolutely gushed over her. Swift wrote for Time, as soon as I started watching Ina's show, I realized why so many people adore her. Her goal is to make things easier for us. Fans love her warmth and generosity. She shows us how to create memories that we'll treasure for years to come. Over the years, Swift has shared a few of her fave Barefoot Contessa recipes. In 2014, she hosted a 4th of July party, and the pics from the bash show her baking Ina Garten's flag cake, which uses blueberries, raspberries, and icing to form the stars and stripes. Years later, sharing 30 things she learned before 30 with Elle, Swift named Garten's real meatballs and spaghetti as one of the three recipes she'll forever be making at dinner parties. Swift told Food Network magazine in 2022, Ina Garten made cooking feel like self-care. Ever since, cooking has been my escape from stress, and one of the only ways I can truly calm myself on a rough day. I did a photo shoot with Taylor, and, and we cooked together, yeah. and I just I so fell in love with her. As much as Swift loves to cook and bake, she's equally keen on dining out. She's often spotted at renowned restaurants with her boyfriend, Kansas City Chief star Travis Kelsey. She's also been known to make time for dinners with members of her high-profile girl squad. It was only a matter of time before someone mapped out Swift's go-to eateries. In December 2023, Eater stepped up to the plate, compiling a list of 29 New York City restaurants that Swift has blessed with her presence. Her picks revealed a love for two types of cuisine in particular, Italian and Asian. Of course, as Eater noted, Swift's appearances at these restaurants have drummed up business, sometimes resulting in lines around the block. So if you don't manage to weasel your way in, prepare to shake it off and try again.